So I'm just getting into my bed, putting my head on the pillow, I'm about to knock out, and then my phone rings, and there's one of my boys in the light, come, let's jump out. I'm like, nah bro, I've got to go gym tomorrow, I'm getting up early, I'm not coming. And then they're like, no, this boy, this boy, this boy, this boy's coming. It's Thursday night, it's going to be jungle, it's going to be lit. And eventually, I'm like, yes. So, I get up, put my jeans on, go to Tesco, buy drinks, have pre, and end up going out. And it's the same thing that happens every night, by the way, nothing changes. We get smashed, we go get a takeaway, come home, and then we sleep. I wake up the next morning feeling like shit, miss my gym session, miss my uni lecture, order a takeaway, and then pretty much sit at home watching Netflix all day just to recover. Now when I'm sat there thinking about it, I get frustrated. I'm frustrated because the girl I was trying to graft the night before, I got caught blocked by her fat and ugly mate. I'm frustrated because I woke up the next morning looking like shit because I didn't train or eat properly. I'm frustrated because I've got a migraine. So it's just a whole lot of frustration. And I knew that it wasn't the right thing to do, but I still did it. And why? It's because I couldn't say no. Now, by no means am I the perfect guy. I was the guy in bed sleeping, and I was also the guy that made the phone call to my friends. So I can tell you that your friends don't have bad intentions. They just want you to do the same things that they do. But then what if it comes to a point in your life when those things that they're doing no longer fit with your values? There is genuinely only one option, bro, and that is to say no. You have to make a line in the sand and say, this is okay for me now, and this isn't. But the tough thing about that is, most likely, there'll only be one person in that group who's deciding to do that line in the sand, and it'll be you. And the first thing that goes through your mind is, what are they going to think about me? But if you're thinking that right now, let me ask you this question. What's more important to you? their thoughts about you or your actual life. When I decided to quit weed, it was kind of big because I was the sort of first person in our group to do that. And I remember a time where KFC overpaid me and I didn't even know I had it. So I checked my phone and I was like, where does extra 80 quid come from? The first thing I did was pull it out and then we ended up spending that money and smoking up. So it was something that was very, very common. So I knew when it came to the point of me saying no to my friends, they're always going to tried to get me to come back and do it again. So how did I beat this? I did it through visualization. So what I did was in my mind, I told myself many, many times I played the scenario of my friends asking me again and again and again. And even how they would say it, the phrases they would use, the place that I would be sat, the room that I would be in. So much so that when they did ask me, I just knew exactly how I would respond. The problem is that you're doing is you're wanting to make a change, but you're not actually practicing in your mind of saying no. So when it happens to you firsthand, you're caught off guard and you're like, you know what, I'll just do that again, just to fit in with them. And the second thing you need to know about saying no is, you don't need to justify yourself. When someone asks me the question why, it automatically implies that I've done something wrong. You know, this isn't Judge Judy. You're not a judge to, to tell me what's right and wrong. I can make my own decision. But I understand if it is your friends and the people close to you, you don't want to seem like a bit of a prick. So... Don't do that for them, but if it's for the outside people, you don't need to justify yourself. But if it's your friends, I'll tell you this, bro. Just be honest with them. Just tell them that this is no longer something that I want to do. But don't go on a big spiel about how you're taking a moral high ground and shit like that. Fuck all that, bro. Don't do that. Just tell them it's not for you and that you don't enjoy it anymore. Nine out of ten times, if you tell your boy, I don't enjoy doing this anymore, they're just going to understand. Don't go into bare detail about it unless they ask you, but just be honest and clear. We want to be reliant on our principles and our boundaries and we're not going to bend just because someone asks us to do something versus another person. See, the thing is, whenever you start to say no to something, you're usually saying yes to something better. So the earlier you can get into the habit of doing this, the more good things you can add into your life. But it does take a little bit of courage. It does take a little bit of effort from your mind, but I know that you can do it because you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. But once you start doing it, bro, I'll tell you something, your friends and the people around you will probably respect you even more for being able to stand up for what you believe in instead of just doing what everyone else does. But that's the key thing. You need to start taking control of your life, not let other people dictate the things that you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. That's the first step of becoming more masculine and taking control of who you are and the person that you're meant to be. But you know my message, bro. Keep building, keep progressing, and I'll catch you in the next one.